when I wake up in the morning, when the sun comes out to shine, I'm feeling fancy, I'm feeling fine, I'm watching the nine at nine. All right, number nine, there's a great Twitter feed you'll want to check out this March Madness. It's called Pre-Game Empire. In the past few years, they've been posting a thread, what NCAA tournament coaches look like they actually do for a living. We'll start with a Northwestern, Chris Collins, local bank executive. Yeah. Dusty May, the coach at Florida Atlantic University infomercial spokesman. <laughs> yep. Andy Kennedy, UAB. Mega church pastor. Bruce Pearl, Auburn, fishing boat salesman. <laughs> oh, that's a good, that's a real good call. Dante Jackson, Grambling, Mayor. Uh -huh. Sure. Greg McDermott, Creighton, industrial lawnmower salesman. <laughs> and one more. Uh, Scott Drew Baylor, executive of the company that does business solutions. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's follow. Good. All right, number eight, we're a, a few weeks away from the great North American solar eclipse. Oh, yeah. It's April 8th. I don't have to tell you, but you can you really stare directly at it? Uh, the people at NASA say it's best that you don't. Even if 99% of the sun's surface is covered, that 1% that escapes is enough to damage your retinas. Uh, and since your retinas have no pain receptors, you won't even know they're being damaged until it's too late. So get yourself a good pair of eclipse glasses. You can also use a pinhole projector, which is something you can make with stuff you probably have at home, uh, index cards and some scotch tape and aluminum foil, but really don't trust yourself with your no. redness. No. Get some glasses. All right, number seven, this little storybook uh, poem can be yours for $11.5 million. It's a stunning little college in the Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles. Why so much money? Well, it once belonged to Judy Garland. She bought it when she was just 16. Oh. She commissioned one of the California's most sought after architects to design it. The home itself is two stories, 5,500 square feet with modern updates, a large pool and a high, a high end appliances. One piece of charm does remain the original window nook where Judy liked to eat breakfast. It's currently being listed by Josh Flagg, best known from million dollar listing oh, on yeah. Bravo. Hmm. All right, number six, The Graham Norton Show on the BBC is a great talk show. And here is a clip of Family Guy creator <laughs> Seth MacFarlane doing a scene from the Liam Neeson movie Taken. So did you ever do your Taken, your version of the Taken phone call for him? Uh, <laughs> oh, you got to hear this. The, 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 Come on, the, the, <laughs> you do it. Our version on Family Guy was Kermit the Frog doing, doing Taken. Yeah. <laughs> <That's fantastic. Come laughs> I, I'm not going to be able to remember the speech. Um, I don't have any money. <laughs> but what I do have are a very specific set of skills. <laughs> skills that make me a nightmare <laughs> for somebody like you. If you don't let the girl go, I will track you down. I will find you, and I will kill you. <laughs> you know what I love about that Graham Norton show? He gets all the celebrities to all yeah. sit up. I mean, you'd never see that in another talk show where they're all mm. staying on the couch talking. Great. God, yeah, good that stuff. was something. Number five in Alaska, a guy named Luke Mel captured these amazing images. He is a certified ice rescue instructor, and this was taken on Rabbit Lake in Alaska. Mel oh. says it's really uncommon for the ice to be free of snow on its surface. In this case, it's clear as glass. Oh, It only wow. lasted about a week. Really? And isn't it a little Yeah, it looks very dangerous? thin, doesn't it? <laughs> it doesn't seem thick enough. Yeah. Uh, Mary Lou, you go first. <laughs> Here, hold my weight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. All right, number four. Here's some more from the Twitter feed, 90s news screens. <laughs> so these are uh, newscasts in the 90s and the over-the-shoulder. Candle danger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. What is? Uh, what? What's going on? Oh, it's just sex. Oh, no, yeah, sure it is flower. Yeah. Spark Meister. <laughs> Meister Electric. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's, a fun, you know? that's yeah. a fun that's a fun fact. fact. Uh -huh. Alcohol and your bones. <laughs> wow, good stuff. All right, number three to celebrate the season, Jesus Plastic Easter Eggs. You get 12 Jesus eggs for like eight bucks on the Oriental Trading Company website. And you can fill them with candy, other treats. Here are the best, here's the best part. Some of the producers think the eggs look exactly like Mexican singer and songwriter <laughs> Marco Antonio Solis. So we're playing a game, Jesus or Marco Antonio. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Huh. That's Jesus uh, there. Looks yeah. like Kenny Loggins. Could yeah. be yeah. Kenny Loggins. Yeah. 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 Number two, a viewer named Nick P shared these pictures with us. He recently walked into his garage to find all sorts of damage. Boxes were overturned, Ooh. others were chewed up. Wow. His wife's windshield was damaged, and he found these paw prints all over his car. His daughter, yeah. Gia, won't go near the garage oh, now. Her. It's huge. We can't say that uh, we blame her. We sent the pictures to our resident nature nerd, Pam Otto. Yeah. She says that she is 99.9% .9 certain the prints are from a raccoon. That's a big raccoon. That's, a, that's about it a 6'2 raccoon. Yeah. Yeah. She also thinks it's possible that the raccoon snuck into the garage for a long winter's nap. Recently woke up and essentially freaked out. He's like, where, you know, where am I? Well, that looks like a footprint of yeah, a human yeah. being. That's a chupacabra. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and these look like full-on hand prints. They Could don't be look like. Oh. You know. Wow, eh? That's bizarre. Number one, here's another check-in on uh, those two eagles at Big Bear oh, Lake in California. Yeah. As we told you last week, the couple has three eggs that they've been sitting on for more than 40 days, oh, and that's kind geez. of the problem. Yeah. There's virtually no chance the eggs will hatch because oh. the eggs are no longer viable. The eagles are still sitting on oh, them, though. That's embarrassing. Jeez. We should cut the feet off. Yeah, just this video is just from yesterday afternoon, and this reminds us of the Dr. Seuss book, Horton Hatches the Egg. Let's listen to a little bit of that as uh, read by Billy Crystal. He heard the men's footsteps. He turned with a start. Three rifles were aiming right straight at his heart. Did he run? He did not. Horton stayed on that nest. He held his head high and he threw out his chest. And he looked at the hunters as much as to say, shoot if you must, but I won't run away. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful, 100%. Mm. Oh, we're going through the whole book. But the men didn't okay. shoot. Much right. to Horton's <laughs> surprise, <laughs> they dropped their So the elephant's sitting on the eggs in this book. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, he steps well, maybe in. Maybe they should try that. Gee, so you wonder what happens, though, with the eagles. This must happen. Do yeah. they eventually they give up? they got up. Uh, you don't have a calendar. You don't know what four yeah. years yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> that is so I don't true. know. Yeah, you're right about well, that. How do they know when to, when to call it quits? Yeah. Well, mm. maybe they're eternally hopeful. Yeah. They sit there for years. Yeah, that's what Some I mean. At some point, uh, we're all watching them. Someone should just uh, go and say to them, hey, look it. Yeah. It's likely not going to happen here. Yeah. Now, that'd be an interesting conversation. Maybe we get Dr. Phil to do it. Mm. Yeah. He's a sensitive, kind of yeah. thoughtful guy. He'd be a great yeah. TV yeah, special. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll submit that to uh, our <laughs> programming department. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be all over it. Get on that. It's great. That's a man at nine. It's a brilliant idea. I'm watching the time at nine.